the Indian Tsunami Conspiracy. On December 26, 2004, an undersea earthquake triggered a tsunami which devastated Southeast Asia. The earthquake measured 9.0 on the Richter scale with an epicenter of 160 km. It was the third largest tsunami ever recorded on a seismograph. The tsunami arrived over two hours after the earthquake hit, which suggests that the earthquake must have triggered something else which led to the tsunami. It was judged to be the tenth worst natural disaster of all time. The country hardest hit was Indonesia, with the region known as Acha taking the brunt of the waves and left completely destroyed. It was the fourth largest earthquake in the past hundred years. Tsunamis generated via earthquakes are not uncommon. However, this tsunami was particularly large. The unfortunate fact about the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami is that a simple warning system of floated buoys would have saved thousands of lives. Such a system is implemented in the USA. The zunameters used to detect tsunamis cost only $250,000 each, and only one is necessary with another as a backup. The Indian government lacked the funding to purchase them. Over 2 lakh people died as a result of the tsunami. Over 11 million were displaced. Primary Conspiracy The primary conspiracy in relation to the, the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami is that it was caused by underground nuclear tests conducted by the United States. Underground nuclear testing is common, indeed practically the only place where tests of such nature can take place and these can result in adverse consequences for land masses. Egyptian weekly magazine Al Osbaugh claimed that the tsunami was triggered by Indian nuclear testing which a team of American nuclear engineers participated. However, the idea that nuclear testing results in tsunamis are new and under-researched. No atomic bomb was at the time strong enough to cause a tsunami of that stature. And no bomb is strong enough at the present time to generate a tsunami wave. The energy required would be enormous. But it is possible that it would trigger an earthquake which would lead to a tsunami. The strongest bomb ever denoted was known as the Tsar Bomber. This hydrogen bomb devastated everything around it for 22 miles. It yielded 50 megatons of energy. In 2011 a Japanese earthquake created massive waves off the coast of Japan that resulted in a nuclear meltdown. And even in the investigations that were completed by the US administration into the effect of bombs on tsunamis and earthquake, they could not replicate anything near a large wave. In other words, even if the US government were evil and somehow wanted to send a tsunami towards India, they would not have the capacity to do so. The idea is somewhat ridiculous and there is no evidence to support it. Other Indian Ocean Tsunami Conspiracy Theories There are the more standard theories associated with the 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami. One is that the tsunami was caused by reptiles who wanted to destabilize the earth. Even by reptile theorist standards, this is quite a poor effort at logic or reason. Others say that both the Indian and American government worked together to trigger to cause the earthquake. It has also been claimed that the US government knew ahead of time that the tsunami was underway due to their tsunami sensors, yet failed to warn the Asians. And still, others say that the Australian and Thai governments failed to respond to the warning from the US about the earthquake. There is no evidence to back up any of these claims. It is possible that a nuclear explosion could cause an earthquake which would result in a tsunami. The problem with this theory, and with most other conspiracy theories, is that there is simply no evidence whatsoever to suggest that the USA were testing nuclear weapons at the time. And if there was, then a link between the nuclear testing and the earthquake and the tsunami would have to be established. This theory has no documentary evidence supporting it, no testimonies, no motive, no prior record, and no rationale. As it stands, it is simply conjectured and joins billions of other theories that could be true but until it comes up with some evidence it's best to assume it false.